Hi guys, welcome to We Fix Technology. Today we're gonna see a project which I am gonna make open source. I have cloned Google Analytics project so I can track my visitors. I was using earlier Google Analytics. I liked it, but the problem was that they were not sharing the IP address of the user. And the problem I was seeing that I could not uh, block the abused user. You know what I mean? Who we were making a spam. So I, we are developers. I end up creating my own script, right? So I did make the own uh, kind of infrastructure where we could have the data in format of IP and everything. Let's figure out how it works first. I'm on the dashboard. And if you see that, it's going to show the unique visitors, today's total visitor, seven days uh, unique visitor, total visitor, and so forth. Even if you want, you can change it from here. Instead of seven days, I can make it today. And I'm seeing everything in graphical mode. See that? No visitor today. Last 14 days, you see that? It's getting me the data on the real time, shows the graph, unique visitor, total visitor, and everything. Even it has a pie chart. You see that people came directly or maybe from Facebook or Google ads and whatnot. You can make it happen. So I'm seeing how much traffic I'm getting direct and from Facebook ad, from Google ad and whatever, right? Even if you want, uh, you can make one month traffic analysis or maybe a year, right? So you, you see everything in graphical user interface. That was about the dashboard. Let's see the IP logs. We are recording all the requests, whatever is hitting to our website. If I go to visitors, you're going to see these all are IPs which are hitting to. This is just a local environment as of now. Ignore that, the logs. So if user come from Facebook, it's going to get the FCL ID or GCL ID or whatever, whatever source come from. And it records the whole path. So it, you get to know what page they were visiting. Even I did make the arrangement how many times the user came in, right? This user came two times locally while I, while I was developing 634 times. See that even if you click on it, I see, let me click on this. This is the real traffic. I'm going to click on it. It shows the direct traffic. It was a human or robot and the source and the visited date and time. So, you know, if this guy is spamming, you know, they supposed to block this IP, so it will make the ease, right? So this is very simple and easy to understand. You can search from IP and so forth. As of now, I did not create the blocking list. I might create the blocking list in future. So far, this dashboard shows the number of IP, unique visitor, today visitor, seven day visitor, 14 day and one week and one year. And one month, these all options are here. You can see all the IP logs in form of graphs, pie chart and stuff like that. Even the IP logs are there if you go there. Now, guys, I might add more things in this, like uh, fetching the location, what city, state, country the user are coming from, their language and so forth. Maybe reference link, but I need motivation. And I also may create a blocking system. If somebody's spamming your website, you block them and they would not be able to use your website. I need some motivation. I want at least 100 likes on this video. Comment, like, share, subscribe. And I will make sure I'm going to get you more value out of this content, right? So let's see how you can install that. I have uh, written a complete blog. I'm going to get you the link of this complete source code and you see that it's step by step you can simply install uh, if you don't have a admin package admin panel you can have it or you can install through this and i will put i have also created a video how to create admin panel in laravel you must watch that video first so at least you would be able to create your admin panel right i'm also gonna put the link in the description how to create the admin panel once you have the admin panel, we're going to install some packages and apply those packages. Then in construct method of your class, like if you have a front end controller, just pass this method and it speaks our language. Uh, you can create a visitor controller and I have mentioned everything, all the steps 
are written here. You just need to copy paste and it should work as it's supposed to be. So guys, I hope you did learn something today. This source code is free for everyone. And if you want more features in this, like show cities, location and stuff like that, make sure like it. And uh, I'm promising you I'm going to create more videos like that. Thank you so much for your time. Have a good one. Cheers. Bye for now.